Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for November the 20th of 2020. Well, it is titled Global Map Mars at Opposition. So what do we see here? Well, this is a map of Mars images taken between October the 8th and November the 1st. And this was taken at this time because Mars was at opposition. Now opposition is the time when a planet that orbits further from the sun than Earth, that it is opposite to the sun in the sky meaning that it will rise as the sun sets and set as the sun rises, making it visible all night long and making it very prominent in the night sky. So here this image not taken from an orbiter or anything traveling to Mars, but instead taken from a one meter telescope here on Earth in order to get these images. Now we can see some of the structures on Mars lighter and darker colors. And you will also notice that some regions, especially towards the South Pole, appear very distorted. And that's because that is the South Polar Cap. And it would be the South Pole of Mars would be just a point on the globe. However, when we convert that into a flat map, it gets stretched out. So some of the distortions that we see on flat maps here on Earth are a, a product of how those maps are created and will occur for anything that is converted into a flat map. So when you convert a globe, uh, such as the Mars or Earth into a flat map, you end up with distortions and the further north or south you get, the less the distortions are. So here we can see those uh, the Mars going up to about 45 degrees of latitude and all the way down to the South Pole. So it gives us a chance to map out and look at Mars and you still have a chance if you haven't had a chance to see Mars yet. Mars is still prominent in the night sky and will remain so uh, the rest for the most of the rest of this year still having a chance to be able to see it rising a little later now not quite as uh, prominent e exactly at sunrise as it was when it was at opposition but still a very good view of Mars very bright in the sky. And if you haven't looked as well, Jupiter and Saturn are also very close together and are still getting closer and closer over the next month. So you can watch those two because in a little over a month, they will be as close as they have ever been since the 1600s. So a chance to be able to see several of those planets over the next coming uh, weeks. So here we got to see images of Mars put together from a telescope here on Earth at the recent Mars opposition. So that was our picture of the day for November the 20th of 2020. It was titled Global Map Mars at Opposition. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture. So until then, have a great day everyone, and I will see you in class.